Good morning, my name is Steven. And I'm Jaylen. Welcome aboard to the Disney Dream for day four. Wow, it's day already four? day four. Oh, yeah, sure. that's crazy. It's already day four. Wow, today we're here in Cozumel, Mexico. Another day in Cozumel. We've been here twice already, which is, we've liked it so far. We're going to Dolphinaris. Yes, so we are going to be encountering a dolphin, which isn't swimming with them, but we'll like get to pet them or do something. I'm not quite sure. And then we're also going to the their private beach that they have, mm -hmm. where they have like kayaks and all that stuff included, as well as food and drinks. So I'm excited for today. Yes, so let's go ahead and get on. We are almost late to our excursion. We of have course. booked it through the cruise line, so let's go ahead and get downstairs. So while we are on our way on to the excursion meeting point, which is Enchanted Garden, I wanted to mention that yesterday was Marvel Day at Sea. If you haven't seen those videos, I believe there's two parts of it. Check out those videos because Marvel Day at Sea is a unique thing to the Disney Dream now, and it is so good. Probably our best day at sea ever. So check out that video because it doesn't get better than that. We're all checked in for our excursion. We got a sticker and we're sticker heading out in our group. Rawr. We grab towels. Normally you like follow the paddle all the way, but all three groups were kind of just like dismissed at once. So we're just kind of all walking down the stairs. I'm not quite sure. Hopefully we don't accidentally get into the wrong group because that would suck. Goodbye, Disney Dream. We'll see ya in real soon. Welcome back to Cozumel, Mexico. We're gonna take some escalators in order to walk to the parking area. Remember, 40 minutes with the dolphins, food, open bar, snorkeling, kayaks, and the same bottle. Now, it's time to go. We're going all together, okay? And follow me, please. made it into Dolphinaris, which is really weird how we got here. We took multiple taxis to get here instead of like say one bus. But the good thing is at the end when we're done, we can decide to leave whenever we want essentially after a certain amount of time and they'll send us back in a taxi. So that way not everyone has to leave at like say two o'clock, you can kind of leave staggered. Leave at your own pace sort of thing. I mean obviously there's a time where they're gonna cut you off, but it's kind of nice, so if you want to go home early, especially since there's a lot of kids here, it's a great advantage for that. Alright, so we're following the group somewhere. I'm not sure where, but everyone seems to be 2A, so I don't think we're all going together on the encounter, but we're all going in together. Alright, for $15 we got a locker, and we also got this bag, which actually isn't a terrible bag. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not terrible. Better than expected. And it's like kind of like lined inside, so if you like spill something in it, it's easy to wipe out. Not mad about this. Not mad. Well, one thing we want to know is we cannot record the dolphins when we're going down there, which we knew ahead of time. We just want to do it for fun. The main thing is the beach resort part of it, but we also get to go swim with dolphins or touch dolphins. I don't know what we're doing with dolphins. Maybe if we get um, pictures, if we buy them. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll and like we'll, we'll show you guys like what other people look like. With yeah, the there's a good viewing point, so we'll uh, we'll show the b-roll right now as we put the camera away. Yeah. We just got out of dolphin, the dolphin encounter, and it was absolutely phenomenal. Our dolphin's name was Linko. He was 20 years old, and he was so friendly. Gave me kisses, I put my hands out and he like touched my hands. I put my hand under him and like over and got to pet him and felt his heartbeat. That was really cool. We had so many opportunities to touch him and he was splashing us and being so playful and showing a couple of tricks in the water, some flips and some twists and stuff. It was really cool. I highly recommend doing it. When we first did it, I was like, I was like, why did you spend so much money on a dolphin encounter? Like dolphins are cool and stuff, but like we shouldn't spend the money. Well, I'm so glad that we did. It was only $100 per person, and that includes the all-inclusive resort, so that's pretty cool. But I highly recommend coming to Dolphin Eris. That was amazing. Our guide was super friendly, and our dolphin was super friendly. It was overall a great experience for the dolphin encounter. But now let's in, let's experience the all-inclusive resort part and see if that part's worth it. Okay, first part of the all-inclusive part of the resort, it uh, they have drinks. All, all you can drink, pretty Brain much. freeze! They have uh, some already mixing already, so that was really nice. And, yeah, uh, so like slushies. Yeah, we took advantage of the slushies. 
But you can get any kind of drink as well, I'm sure. Um, and, and you can get alcohol too in case yeah, that wasn't Yeah, it's also there. included as well. We just don't do that. And but. you can like add alcohol to a slushie if you want, stuff like mm -hmm. that. But we don't like the alcohol, so. Yeah, so. I got mango. It is so good. I'm not normally a big fan of mango, but this is really delicious. And they also had strawberry and pina colada. Yes. And then they have any other things that you want to make a mix. Mm -hmm. I saw someone order Bloody Mary. I saw someone get tequila with uh, soda water. It's uh, yeah. It's a, like a full bar almost. Yeah, it's almost a full bar. I wouldn't say they have top shelf stuff, but mm -hmm. you know, you'll, you'll get full enough. bar as far as like they have all different kinds of alcohol. Enough, enough to get by, I'm sure. Anyways. Uh, you could, it's included. you could do that. You could do. You could do that. I don't think you're that. gonna be picky. Yeah, I know, right? You could do that before you go in the dolphin encounter or swim if you do the swim. Uh, we did not get a chance to do that because we were kind of slow and we were called the walkers. Yeah, we got called right away. But others got there and immediately got drinks get, mm -hmm. to get going. But we got it after, so it was well worth the wait. Yes. So now we're gonna go find food, which is up I'm in the restaurant. I'm so hungry. We did not eat breakfast this morning. Mm -hmm. So we made it up to the restaurant and we want to say that they do give you an iPad to show you your pictures and if you want to purchase them, that's where you go to check them is at the restaurant. So that's good to know. They do cost additional, but they do have digital photos that we sent to email and that was our biggest concern. So if we find... Most of the time they would just like, I don't know, print it for you. And yeah, and that's not what print, we want. But no, we want a digital so because... So we find that we really like the photos, we will buy them and they will have been in the video already and you've already seen them, so I guess you know. I really like the photos. <laughs> we're probably going to buy them though, so... Anyways, we're going to look at them and we'll check back with you after. Okay, so we saw the prices for the photos. I was so excited because there was like one cute photo of me. But it's like not worth it. So to get one photo, it's $40. Four zero for one photo. And then to get all the photos for one person was what, how much? I mean, it was like $80. And then all the photos for two people was $130. Yeah. It was like $130. Let me just tell you, there was, so each of us had like three photos in each um, pose and there was three poses. But the three photos are basically exactly the same. It was like a burst photo where it's like bing, 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 you know? So they're all the same. So basically for six photos, it would be $130. But we couldn't take any cameras or anything to take any photos. So we have like no documentation that we ever even did this other than talking about it like this. So I don't know, I'm kind of like back and forth because I'm really pissed that it's that much because that's absolutely ridiculous. But at the same time, it's like, I still kind of want the photo, but also the only one, there's one photo that looks good of me. The other two are awful. I'm not even like looking at the camera. I'm not looking at the dolphin. Like I'm literally making a funny face. So like, I'm actually really sad about it. So then for the lunch portion of it, they actually have a really short menu. They only really had chicken fajitas, uh, nachos, a burger, salad, and uh, fish. So not much to choose from. We're kind of disappointed on that token. So the first half of it, fantastic. Now we're getting this part, it's okay. Thank you. So, you know, it's kind of, kind of getting whatever, but you know, that's how it is. Kind of expected for photos to be really expensive. They're just like a little more expensive than I thought they were gonna be, but kind of no surprise on that one. But it'd be one thing if the photos were good. I mean, the photos of Steven are good, but the photos of me are awful. There's one good one. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll have to think about it. Obviously, you know the decision already, but in the moment, we're not too happy. Okay, so the menu selection might not be the greatest thing in the world, but I will say for sure that the fish does look really good. Like, the plates are done really well. Like, I feel like when we were in um, Paradise Beach Club, like, they had a lot of options, but it was a lot of, like, like snacky, kind of, like, snacky setups. Like, it wasn't on a nice plate. It wasn't, you know, plated at all. It was just kind of thrown on a plastic plate. And that was so anyways, this fish actually looks really good, and they give a lot, so let's dig right in. Pretty good, I won't lie. Good fish. All right, I got chicken fajitas. They look pretty good. They taste pretty good too. So after a nice lunch and a couple drinks, we we're ready to head back into the water. We're gonna go kayaking. Kayaking. But I will say GoPro time. Whoop, whoop. Now we're on the GoPro, everyone's favorite camera angle come over to the desk and you can sign up for kayaking or snorkeling here as well or paddle boarding but there's no paddle boards available so 
or sign up for the kayak right now. Looks like fun. All right. Let's go. We're going back down. Dolphins are like in all of these waters. You know? Yeah. But we're not going to be kayaking with dolphins, unfortunately. That, that would, would be, be very cool. dangerous for the dolphins. As for we are unpredictable. We would be like, wow. I want pet dolphins again. They were so sweet. It's okay. No, it's not. We'll come back next time. Okay. No photos next time, though. <laughs> yep. Just for the experience itself. The deep part is 45 feet. Why should you not hook to swim? Just swim. Tie in the water, condition 20 meters. Okay. You okay? Yeah. All right, we made it. Also, in case you guys don't know, I have an injured finger. I injured it uh, two cruises ago on Royal. Um, so we're actually just going to have Steven paddle this entire time. Bad idea. I might be able to help a little bit, but I really don't want to hurt my finger more because why are we just going backwards? <laughs> Anyways, he, I, I'm just the, the princess and he's parading me around. Sitting over there, not paddling. Oh, he thought I was talking about the ship, huh? There's a small space out here. It's not like the greatest in the world, but it's still fun to do. I mean, it's included. It's not worse than like, say, Paradise Beach Club, which is just down the road over yonder. Actually, it's kind of far away from where we are. What's crazy, so it's totally crazy because Paradise, the water was like all murky and kind of gross and it like, was not deep at all. And here, it's like this water is clear and turquoise so beautiful. i can literally almost see the bottom like i can see like the shapes of the bottom like i can't like see directly it's like there's a, there's a shell like that's how, yeah that's how deep this water is so the water is extremely deep but so clear and such a beautiful color and also this kayak is actually really nice so earlier if you've seen our video about paradise beach just which is also in cozumel which is also in cozumel just know that this is also here and that this is really pretty. I mean, the, s the size of the space that we can paddle is actually probably bigger than over there on Paradise. Uh, it's, it's about the same. I think it's bigger. Uh, I really one's, do. One's taller, so you go out further out towards the ocean. This one's like wider. So you yeah, can okay. Out. Okay, I feel that. The ocean. But you're also way deeper out here too. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so they have kayaks, paddle boards um, out here, and then they have snorkeling in a little um, area, like in a, a specific thing. So it's not like out in the ocean. It's kind of like where the dolphins are. So, and this is all included with your, your dolphin thing. So, no. so I will say that Dolphin Eris is actually starting to get a little bit of a leg up maybe. I don't know. There's a couple of things that have made me not so happy, but there's a couple of things that have made me very happy. So let's just enjoy the ride. Snorkeling time, so that means no more audio. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. We don't want it to rain again and we gotta get back aboard in one hour. Also, we apologize for switching like cameras on you all back and forth. We've been using GoPro, my cell phone, and the camera. Yeah. So uh <laughs> yeah. all the tools we have in order to get the best possible video, tell the best possible story of what we've been up to. Yeah, obviously we can't just take the camera everywhere, especially with the water and the rain. And the GoPro wasn't allowed for dolphins, so I was like, okay, I can shoot a little bit on the phone. And 
I think that my phone takes better video than the GoPro, but the GoPro is obviously more convenient because it can attach to things, so. It's just a whole series of events. Let's get out of here before it rains again. Yes, please. The clouds are storming. So we have made it back to the port. It's kind of weird that this is the port. I don't know. I thought he was just dropping us off on the side of the road. I was like, really? Why are you just leaving us here? But I guess we are at the port. But it's right in front of Senior Progs. That's how you know you're in port. Do I look like the fish? <laughs> yep, you look just like the fish. <laughs> Uh, we are now back at the port. We're on our way back to the dream, our home. So we're gonna get back aboard and then we'll talk more about Dolphin Aries. We'll give a full review and our thoughts on everything that we witnessed, what we experienced, and some of our kind of tips for what you should be looking out for next time if you were to go. Uh, it was fun, but we'll talk about it once we get back aboard. For now, it's a long walk to the dream. Oh, Disney Dream, the next time I see you on the outside, I am going to be very sad. So, the view while we can. We are still kind of getting ready right now for the evening, because tonight is pirate night, but we are now sailing away from Cozumel, which is kind of a sad thing because it's our last port on our adventure. We've had two great experiences in Cozumel, and both of them were fantastic, especially today at Dolphin Aris was a really good experience, and we'll talk more about it right now okay so we're gonna talk about dolphin Aris. i will be honest it is definitely right after when we said it was after because it is definitely not midnight and it is definitely not our third take of this <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it the review of dolphin Aris. do we think it's worth it to start off with yes yes 100 yes we think you should consider doing dolphin Aris. do the dolphin encounter do the dolphin swim whatever you want at dolphin Aris, it is worth it so let's start off with transportation Transportation is kind of unique. Usually you take a bus and a big group, but they don't do that. They actually send you in small groups in taxi vans. It's not that far from the port. It's actually really close, a lot closer than a lot of the other beach resorts. So that's nice. And uh, you get to leave whenever you want. So instead of having to leave at a set time when a tour guide tells you, you leave when you're ready to leave. You just go over to the entrance, they'll send a taxi down to the port where you need to go. Now let's get on to the main attraction of the dolphin. The dolphin encounter in which we did was absolutely phenomenal. Our tour guide was so knowledgeable, trainer, funny. Trainer, trainer, the trainer. Sorry, not a tour guide. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Our trainer for our dolphin trainer was so knowledgeable and so funny yes. and so playful. Um, and our dolphin was so sweet. He was absolutely adorable and had the softest skin. I don't know why, but I just have to say that. Um, so with the encounter, we got to go down into the water about waist deep and pet the dolphin, play with the dolphin a little bit and do some poses for photos. Yes, now the photos was an issue for us because Jalen's photos were not the greatest photos in the world and they charge really, really expensive prices. I mean, it's photos, that's kind of how it always is. They charge $40 a photo or $80 per person for each, for everybody's photos in that, like for that one person. So say if there's two of us, we would pay $160 for all of our photos. But the issue is, is that they only take three photos, uh, three poses, and then it's gonna be three photos for each pose. Uh, the problem that we saw was, is that the three photos were not like of three separate times, they were of the exact same time. So basically if there was a bad pose, it's gonna be a bad pose for all three photos for that one pose, which that was kind of Jalen and her situation. We really did not like the I photos. I was literally like... And we were not going to pay full <laughs> price, pretty much. We were really, really unsatisfied. I don't know why they can't take more photos than just, you know, at the beginning. So if you're going and you want to pose for photos, Be make mindful. sure, yes, pose for the camera right away and then enjoy the moment because they will not take a picture of you enjoying the moment. They're just going to take a picture of you in the first 10 seconds and whatever the heck your face is, that's the face on the photo. Dolphin Aris, if you ever watch this video, please, please, please train your photographers to do better than that. Or maybe we just got unlucky, I'm not sure. But that's what you can get. Just be mindful of it. Um, now let's talk about the food and drink because this is an all-inclusive resort. Uh, so they did have a limited menu. I was actually kind of disappointed with the options, very few things. However, I will say the food quality was really good. Both of us enjoyed both of our um, items that we got. Yes, definitely. And we also enjoyed the drinks that they had. They had slushy machines, um, so it was super quick and easy, but they also had a full bar. Alcohol is included. 
So yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, so you can get all kinds of drinks throughout the day. But the other thing you get included in Dolphin Aris is kayaking, snorkeling, and paddle boarding, which we did two of the three. We did snorkeling and kayaking, which mm -hmm. we both enjoyed both of those experiences. Yes. Kayaking is kayaking, but we will say the kayaks are nice. It's in the ocean, it's 45 feet deep, so there's no swimming in that area at all. And if you go any past the buoys where they are, there are lots of boats going through. Mm -hmm. So it's a smaller section, not the biggest section in the world to go kayaking, but enough space to get around. You also had a great view of the ships nearby. Oh, yes, if you're in, I don't remember what, what cruise terminal we were, but if you're in that terminal, you have a great view of your ship. If you're in the other ones, maybe not so much. Uh, then the next thing would be snorkeling, which we enjoyed as well. There's a, it's a decent space. It kind of goes in. There's a lot of fish. I saw starfish in there too. And there's even birds floating on the top of the water. Yes, Watch out for those almost birds. almost run into because they will not move. They don't move. They but are just like basically buoys that don't care whether <laughs> you're coming to them or not. They'll, they'll take it. And the fish were like overly nice. Like they were just swarming us and literally running into us. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, I kind of was scared. I didn't want to kill a fish. Um, <laughs> So they are really strict about the times. Mm -hmm. So you have to sign up for each kind of section and then they'll take you in and they'll give you 20 minutes and that is it. They are strict. Yeah. If you are longer than 20 minutes, they start yelling at you. Yeah, they will really, kick really you frustrated. Out. So please, well not kick you out of the resort, they'll kick well, you no, out no. of the pool or yeah. out of the kayaks, whatever. But we didn't think you need longer than 20 minutes. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe you could want more, but not really. We not were really. I mean, we saw everything You saw twice. everything. You got everywhere you wanted so. to go. You didn't need longer than that. 20 minutes is fine. Yeah. So we didn't complain about it too much, but you know, 20 minutes, but it's included. So it's not like you're paying yeah. more for it. I love that it's included because it allows you to do something other than just dolphins and food. So I think we have one final message. This is a warning. This is not a beach it's not a beach not I a beach i think even in disney's description that it, it says, says a it's a beach. beach day i literally it's read it it's not this a morning. beach day there's no beach nearby for you with um, all of that stuff i really think that it's worth the price i mean it was only a hundred dollars when we did paradise beach it, it was, was sixty dollars per person so forty dollars more for dolphins Heck yes yes please check so i highly recommend checking it out doing it um yeah if you ever find yourself a in Cosmo, great Great value. And they take Booking kids the too for the dolphins. Yeah, so and there's kids. Feel That's free nice. to take your kids. There were, there were some youngins too, like maybe a five year old. I mean, us. we were on Disney, so a lot of the clientele for our groups were a lot of kids and a lot of families. Mm -hmm. But there was also Carnival, there was also Royal Caribbean, and there were adults on those cruise tours. So yes. just whoever you are, family, not family, do it. It's a great experience for you. We would do it again in a heartbeat mm -hmm. if we ever had the chance to, and we probably will. So. I love dolphins now. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of Pirate Night because tonight is Pirate Night. And if you haven't realized, we have dressed up in pirate attire. <laughs> so let's get to the pirate stuff. Yo ho. <laughs> We're on our way to explore some Pirate Night activities. I'm not sure. We really don't know what's they going on. really don't have much. They had like one pirate trivia, one pirate game show, and then photos in the atrium. But I think that the photos might be done with already. I'm not quite sure. They're, I feel like they're, I don't know if this is their normal photo schedule or what, but yesterday we missed a ton of photos too. Um, so. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's up with it. Yeah, we'll go find out. Since we're pirates, we decided we might as well go hunting for whatever we're hunting for. Hunting for that. Okay. Look at the detective agency. It's a fun little game that you get to play around the ship. You gotta find things, get a little QR code, and there's some page. I can't do it with one hand, but you can imagine it. Hey, how about you? Can you help us? Oh, I don't think so, Carmen. Yeah, so it's always different. It's always different when you do it. No, no, listen. Really, we need your help to find our missing... They must all be considered suspects. On the back is a map showing locations where you'll need to search for clues. Cool. Here we are at the scene of the crime, the empty trunk of props. Dun, dun, dun. Detectives, use your flashlight to look for a clue. So we've been going through and doing the Muppets version, which I think we already know that, and we found Pepe's door, right? Yes. Pepe's door. So that's really cool that they have that. It's just a random door that's in one of the hallways on deck five. 
it's miniature, so obviously it's not a real. Well, I mean, it's a real guest stateroom, which is not like for us. Apparently, you can call it. We'll have to figure that out later. Yeah, we'll have to give it a call. So this is the Muppets call board. The other interactive thing that the, the uh, detective agency thing has. Kind of cool. Why'd you do it? Okay, so we just finished up with the Muppet detective hunt, which was a lot of fun. All three of us got all three different answers, which was pretty cool. I yeah. like that it's it's unique for each and every one. Ooh, I need to play it multiple times. It's got replayability. Yeah. And each of them have like a good funny yeah. answer. So if you have a chance to play on board, play the Muppet ones. It's definitely our favorite. And then also, you'll get a chance to play a few different answers if you play it. All right, we are going into Enchanted Garden. We actually went up to the top to check out some of the photos that we had gotten taken throughout the cruise. And oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie, I, there was tears running down my face. I love them so much. I'm so happy that we like pre-bought the, uh, the photo package because now we saved some money on photos that we definitely want to have. But anyways, Enchanted Garden for dinner. Walking in, it's like a garden. It's enchanted. Weird though, there's just a lot of pirates everywhere. I'm not really sure how enchanted a garden can be if there's a lot of pirates around. <laughs> Excited, this is my favorite menu across the entire fleet. Mainly because it has my favorite dish. It's an appetizer, you might already know it. It's the ahi tuna tower. My favorite dish is ahi tuna tower here in Enchanted Garden. And I got three. Jalen got two. I'm happy. You're supposed to only get one. You're only supposed to get one. But you know what? I tried to get it on an earlier day, couldn't, so we're getting it all today. I love life. <laughs> I swear, he's talked about this for the last year since he had it last time. They don't have this on our ships. The old ships don't have it. <laughs> now, China's restaurant does have like an ahi tuna tartare, but it's not this. It's not anywhere close. Like, it's good. It's just way better here. All right, so I got the pork tenderloin for dinner. This is one of my absolute favorite meals, like, aboard the ship. And I'm so excited to get it this time. I know last time I had it, it was really good. It feels very tender. Oh my god, that is so tender and so flavorful. This is amazing. I wish I ordered two servings. Tonight, I got the prime rib, which is my favorite thing to order whenever it comes up next to the Ahi Tuna Tower. That's why Ahi Tuna Tower is like a rare thing you won't really find on any other cruises. Prime rib is a pretty standard thing you'll find on other cruises, so that's why I like to say that's my favorite cruise food. Anyways, this is a solid piece of meat, tender. Not the best that I've ever had, but it's still a really solid prime rib. They will all be gone, even though I did have three Audi Tuna Towers before this. Okay, so we got carrot cake with chocolate syrup. And then a little bit of raspberry on the side. I'm not a big fan, yeah, and a blueberry cut in half. I'm not a big fan of carrot cake. And I didn't know carrot cake and chocolate went together, so. This is you're gonna, about to find out. <laughs> I mean, it's not the easiest to chew. But I guess it just tastes like a spice cake. And I'm not really sure how that chocolate fits into it, but I guess it's not terrible. Not the best thing we've had. Going back to the cabin really quickly to find. Well, Davy Jones is a little falling apart the, the waves are a little rough uh dinner was really good well every all the food was fantastic i just want to make a note of course if you've been joining along with us for a while you know that we both jaylen and i have dairy allergies we had an interesting encounter today so soy sauce typically does not have dairy in fact it it doesn't at least not the generic brands don't maybe there are some that do but the brand that disney uses does not have dairy in it but there was some confusion in the kitchen on whether or not we could have it which made no sense to me. I am very disappointed with the Dream's understanding of allergies and what the difference in some of them are. Specifically, like, soy sauce should not be 
at all a dairy concern. Like, it, ne it never usually is. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't want to be wrong. Like, I I'm pretty sure. But uh, usually, in most cases, and especially in this case, uh, it's not a concern. So I just, I don't understand why the kitchen was so concerned. We had the head server come out. He even read us all the uh, the allergies. or read out all the ingredients. There's only five of them. Um, I can't list them off the top of my head, but none of them were dairy or any of our, our allergy concerns. Uh, Jalen is allergic to peanuts and strawberries, but neither of those were also found in the soy sauce. So it was just, it was weird. It was it was weird that that was such a, such a, a hassle to try and get soy sauce on board. But anyways, uh, that's neither here nor there. Jalen is already up to the top. Buccaneer Blast is going on tonight, which is the main pirate event. So we haven't really been doing much pirate things because... We've just kind of been busy. We did Detective Agency, and I, like we're having a fun night, but we haven't done any, like anything piratey yet. So this is the main attraction, Buccaneer Blast. So feel free to join us as we head to the top deck. maybe 20-ish minutes a little short on that one I will say the busy parties are just a little short but then again we've been doing like carnival and uh, that's probably the reason why we think but parties go also longer like the longer it goes on the more people leave so that's true that's I true. feel like it was a good time I feel like normally it drags on too long that's anyways really cool I'm getting carried away this show was amazing that was our first time ever seeing that show and first ever seeing that, that show, show. It's, it's the first time ever seeing that show in the Caribbean mind you oh my gosh you guys, I am not freezing cold. I'm we actually not, wearing my pirate We are costume. not the pirates of California. We are actually the pirates in the Caribbean. So that was really Woo! cool. So. Normally we're wearing like one or two sweaters and blankets. This is amazing. Even, even last year, it was too cold because it was in a storm. Anyway, it's too year, windy. Yes, it is windy though. You, probably, you guys probably can't even hear any of this. Well, goodbye. <laughs> Hey, so we just got done with the pirate deck party, the pirate nightclub, and the buccaneer party, which was a lot of fun. Also, really random note, does this place look familiar? Did you see it earlier in the video? No, I don't think you did. Uh, so overall, it started off with the buccaneer party, which was a lot of fun. So Captain Jack Sparrow's crew came out. They sang a little bit, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me, that kind of stuff. It was really exciting, and they, really they had some good interactions with the kids. Uh, they played Heidi Ho, which is a fun in, uh, improv game that I've seen quite a bit before. So it was really cool to see that on board. They did really great with that, yes. asking kids questions, which is always a dangerous thing when you do. <laughs> so they played it off really well. And then Captain Jack Sparrow came in on the zip line, Repel down. repelling down. That was awesome. It was unexpected. Yes. When he came out, I was lost. I didn't know where to look. <laughs> And then it ended off that show with fireworks, which were absolutely phenomenal. I, yeah, it was literally just the pitch blackness because there's no light pollution from anything yes, around. There's no the land. Great. And then it was just fireworks in the air. And Jalen found the best possible spot to watch the fireworks on board the Disney Dream. So the best spot to watch the fireworks is on deck 12 starboard side. If you get right against the railing, you have absolutely nothing in your way. No aqueduct in the way, no people, no deck, nothing. You can just look right over the railing into the pitch blackness um, because it's obviously the ocean. There's no light pollution around. So just watching the fireworks light up the night sky, it was absolutely gorgeous. I could also see from right there, the fireworks like actually shooting out like from the deck. It was really cool. Anyways, overall, what a great, we had a great day overall. Yes. I think Dolphinaris, 
Pirate Night. That was it. Dolphin Airs Pirate Night. That was a fantastic night. I don't think we could have asked for anything more in the day. We are exhausted, especially since yesterday was Marvel Day at Sea. And today was a full day in Cosmo and Pirate Night. So much going on. I wouldn't ask for any more. But we do still have one full sea day tomorrow. Yes, one more full sea day. Last full day aboard the Disney Dream. Make sure to check out tomorrow's video. What are we doing? Sleeping. Day stuff. Sleeping is what we're, we're not doing. sleeping. We'll be sleeping. No so sleeping. So the first 10 allowed. minutes of the video is going to be us sleeping. Make sure to check out that video. I'm just kidding. I, we're going to be doing lots of activities. We're going to be trying to jam in as much as we possibly can because this is our last day at sea at all. No more side by siding. We are going home on Saturday. Sad to say. And really sad to say it, but it is true. So tomorrow, we're going crazy. Thank you so much for watching the video. Check out tomorrow's video as soon as it comes out. Check out goodmorningadventure.com. And as always, this isn't a goodbye, but just a I'll see, see you real soon. soon.